X8 Developers TV, what is going on? My name is Kevin, AKA The Tech Ninja. And today on X8 Developer TV, I am talking about OTG. You down with OTG? Yeah, you know me. The on the go cable that is supported with an Android. Now the reason we're gonna talk about it because you can use this for a lot of different things on your tablet and or your phone. So we're gonna take a journey down the magical land of on the go right now. <laughs> This episode of XDA Developer TV is brought to you by the XDA DevCon. Join us August 9th through 11th in Miami, Florida, a conference for developers by developers. More information available at www.xda-devcon.com. So we're going to start this off with plugging in my Logitech wireless mouse. And it works as expected. Not really much to say about it. Uh, use the mouse wheel to go between your pages. You can click on messages as they pop up towards the bottom. You can click different icons to launch different things. So, I mean, I can launch settings, go into these options like this, go back, use the back button, use the forward button. I mean, it works as expected. It works really well too. Um, you know, this is really good if you want to uh, access your Nexus quickly. You're playing a game that you want uh, you know, like a, a game that has a puzzle, you need to push things rapidly, anything like that, this works really well. And so I, I sort of recommend it if it's something that um, may suit your needs. And also this is an awesome mouse, by the way. This Logitech mouse is um, pretty good. It's the MX Anywhere mouse, by the way. Um, so yeah, so that is the mouse. We're gonna unhook that and we're gonna plug in this SD card. This is the application that requires um, you to download it. This isn't built into Android, what's about to happen right here. And this and this application is made by a user on XA developer. He's actually one of the, the developers. His link will be in the description below. Um, he made two applications. One is Nexus Media Importer and the other application is Nexus Media Viewer. They're both pretty much the same application. Um, the importer allows you to save it directly to your device. The viewer allows you to just view it, obviously. The importer does cost um, a couple bucks and the viewer is free. So, so I'm launching the application right now. It sees I have an SD card. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And I have a few tabs at the very top. This is not an application review, so I'm not gonna go over it too much. Um, but what you can see is I can you know, view all my pictures. It's really, really straightforward. I can view all my pictures that I took on my, uh, my phone. And if I go to video, I have video in here as well. This is um, a movie that I had on my SD card. So, I mean, you see it works really well, especially if you have issues with um, device storage and capability problems. And this works with flash drives too. So uh, I can easily just plug in, you know, a standard flash drive and, and I get the same results. It pops right up with my with different categories, music, media, uh, I'm sorry, music, photos, video, all that sort pops right up in that category. So it's a really cool app. I do recommend it if you plan on utilizing that technology. Um, the third thing I'm gonna show you guys is this little guy right here. Uh, this is like a little cheap trackpad keyboard that I purchased off Amazon. I think it was 20 bucks or so. And this works pretty well. So as you can see here, I'm controlling it like this and it has a keyboard as well. Um, so pretty standard stuff. I'm not really good on this keyboard. Like I said, not perfect on the keyboard, but it, it is passable. It allows you to type on it, allows you to access whatever you want so it's something good especially if you if people if you really want a keyboard that's portable and you want like a little trackpad portable this thing is pretty awesome and the on the go cable allows you to plug it directly into your device so that's it lastly is the xbox live controller okay now this guy is pretty cool because natively it works i don't have to adjust anything i don't have to change any profiles or nothing just plug it right in and it goes it controls my home screen again as you can see the switching between icons 
And some games support it natively, where the, the buttons map perfectly. Like, Dead Trigger is one game where it works as it should. You know, this is the shoot, just look around, look around, go through your menus. I mean, it's, it's perfect. So I'm going to show you a little Dead Trigger with this controller. Um, also, Grand Theft Auto works pretty well as well. I have played Grand Theft Auto with this controller, and it, it works perfectly, so. So, very responsive. Works extremely well. Like I said, it works as expected. If you play any type of first person shooters like Call of Duty or anything, you'll understand the control scheme. And the controls work just like that. Um, didn't have to map anything or anything like that. Just plugged it in and it was really good to go. It took a minimum amount of time for it to load the first time. It took a couple seconds and that's it. By the way, Dead Trigger is an awesome game. Um, let me stop now before I forget. Last thing I'm gonna show you is a DSLR controller. Um, and, and this one I'm actually going to record with a different camera so you can sort of see how it looks. This right here is DSLR controller. It's using the on the go cable plugged into my camera going to my tablet. And this allows me to fine tune my shots, allow me to see what I'm actually recording um, because this little screen sometimes is really hard to get access to or it's really hard to see all the way, especially when I'm about you know, six or seven feet away. Um, so what this does, this allows me to see what's going on the screen at all times. Um, I'm able to stop and start the shot and maybe to adjust different settings right from here. So it's actually really cool. And this, I think, is probably the one most important thing of on the go that I use. Um, this has been really huge when it comes to shooting video for XDA. Now this application works for only Canon EOS cameras. You need to check their website to see what exactly they support. Um, but that is, uh, that is this setup right here on the go cable directly to my Nexus 7 tablet. Okay guys, that was it. That was just a few ways that I use the on the go cable. Um, I know there's pretty other, there's many other ways to use the on the go cable. So if you know of a different way, let me know, put in the link below, shoot me a video response, do whatever you want. Cause I love to see all the options. You know, I've been using it on the go since the Motorola Zoom, so I think it's a really cool technology that's unfortunately underutilized. So, anyways, guys, that is it. My name is Kevin, aka the Tech Ninja, and make sure you make your way down to Miami for the XDA DevCon. It's gonna be freaking awesome, and hopefully, I can get down there. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm the Tech Ninja. My link is in the description below. And that is it, folks. Have yourself a good night. Peace.